Hey Brats, welcome back to another episode of Brat Chat with Firebird, the show where you send us in topics and we try to discuss them. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook, join the Bratty Family Facebook group. This week, we talk about conspiracies in music. It gets very interesting. We got cut off by probably the government. And yeah, yeah, it's a bit spooky, some of it, actually. It was actually quite scary. The timing was impeccable. (laughs) Breeze, this is the episode. What's the episode? Look, do you get it? Um... Oh, wait, this? wait, let me do another one. Okay. Ooh, okay. Let I me get do what another you're one. Let me do another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So, what you're saying is we're, we're heading into the conspiracies. Yes. I'm so excited because if anyone How? knows me, this is what, this is my jam. Conspiracies. This and is another thing. No, paradox has become no, our I'm a jam. Paradox, I'm a paradox girl now. <laughs> <laughs> so someone said that uh, we need to talk about how we're AI, which we'll get to, which yep. got me thinking, like, we can't just spend a whole episode on... Hey, guys, we're, we're AI. AI. <laughs> End of the episode. I was like, banned conspiracies Yeah, and would I like, be awesome, an awesome topic. You've chosen some, and I really like all of them. Well, yeah, I chose some ones that, like, aren't, you know, the usual ones, like... Paul McCartney's dead and he's been yeah, replaced or Elvis by somebody. Elvis is still alive. Like, or Michael Jackson's still alive. Yeah, or, or like there's the 27 Club. Yeah. Where, you know, people who've died at 27 are part of this club. Yeah. Whatever. Like the Illuminati. Like, hey, you know, um, how old are you Eminem, turning soon? thanks for educating us on that. You're 27 soon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, band conspiracies. Band conspiracies. Some weird ones, which are, they're usually weird, but that's mm. why we love conspiracies. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> okay, so let's get into it. This is You picked a good All one. Right. Dave Hang Grohl on. never broke his leg. <laughs> okay, this one is a recent one because he broke his red leg. Kind of recently. Recently. like that, And that this could be between, again, between now but, and like 10,000 years ago. Yeah, but this has actually come up recently because, oh. um, let me just pull it up so I don't um, botch the story. Yeah. Um, so wait, where you'll explain it, but I'm going to ask the question. So it's like it's going on, somewhere. Where I, did this idea come from? Okay, so I came across this on Instagram initially. Um, there's some conspiracy around Dave Grohl breaking his leg. So if no one knows, um, they were playing. I think they were playing in Germany or somewhere, and quite early on in the set, Dave Grohl fell off the stage, broke his leg. Mm. Then Taylor had to save the day played some songs, then Dave came back out Mm. and then he had his leg up in like uh, a doctor had to hold his leg together. Yeah, he had his leg up waiting for This guy became a hero and then he said he had the best night of his life because he's just holding Dave Grohl's leg in place while they were playing through the rest of the set. Yeah. If I was that doctor, I would have cried. Yeah. Of joy. Yeah, just like it would have been fun. I would have been in absolute nirvana right there. I mean... Can we just say that this is that probably the best thing that's ever happened to anyone who's a fan of anyone? Yes. In the history of yes. music. Yes. And do you know what? I agree. You agree. And therefore, no one else is here to argue <laughs> it. It's fact. Facts. Okay. So this has come up recently that it was all a hoax. What? <laughs> to push more ticket sales. Because <gasps> this is where I kind of think maybe it's true. Because then he did build that the awesome throne. chair. Yeah. Right? And then the whole thing of like he's going to be sitting on this chair with his leg up and then... And how he know, thought of it too. And, and you know, it it's just kind of like really 10 minutes after you break your leg, you then can come out and still finish a yeah, show. Yeah, but I mean... I've never broken my leg, by the way, so... The thing is, though, he broke his leg and then he got given heaps of drugs so he couldn't feel it anymore. That is true. That is true. But enough, but not enough drugs that he can't remember how to play his songs. <laughs> mm. Well, maybe that's the theory. Like, because I remember we had a, a theory that a lot of those bands weren't on drugs. Oh, they pretended they were on they, drugs. They it pretend- was like that, oh, yeah. we have to live up to this lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. 
But then at the same time, I think everyone was in drugs back then, which is another theory we have of why people think that that era of music was is the best. Because the they were all, you're all on drugs. You're all on LSD. You're all tripping. <laughs> and of course it was the best. It's you like were that all, 10-year-old. Everything's you're amazing. You were all 10 years old. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So anyway... That I don't know. I need more information. So I need what? To it was he broke his leg to. It was a publicity for ticket stunt. Day, day, day. Day. I'm a little scared to keep going. I'm not. Let's keep going. Okay. All right. Another real interesting one. Um, David Bowie predicted the rise of Kanye West. This you told me about it, and I was and because like, you're what brats, and this is a safe place. Everyone knows how like we're big fans of Kanye. David Bowie and oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West. Um, but yeah, let me just pull it up so I don't botch it. Wow, you could have done that like earlier. <laughs> okay. So apparently, well, it's not apparently because this did happen. Um, David Bowie's 1972 album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. One look. Bowie, cool, legend, yes. Title, too long. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, that the whole thing is the title? Yeah. And and maybe it was a different time. People liked, you know, titles. Maybe books had big titles. Maybe movies Too many words. had big titles. But for us now, like we would definitely abbreviate that. Ziggy. Yeah. That's what it's called, right? The Ziggy album. Ziggy, Stardust, Mars. That's what we would probably no, say. No, we would just call it. We'd probably say it's the rise of Kanye. That's probably what we call I it. I would call it the rise of Kanye West and people from Mars. Okay. So anyway, on the album cover, as you can see here, maybe we can put it up on for everyone else. There is a uh, thing that says K-West. It's Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> and the opening track is called Five Years. So according to this, it's Bowie predicting a grisly end to the world unless a mythical starman ascends from, to save Earth from itself. Kanye West. Now, five years after this album was dropped, guess who was born? Kanye West. Yes, Kanye West. But... The, according to this, is saying the theory doesn't end there. His final album, Black Star, is thought to confirm West as his chosen successor. Something happened on the day he died. Bowie sings on the title track. Somebody else took his place and bravely cried, I'm a black star, I'm a black star. Um. So uh-huh. the, he must have sang that. Yeah, there'd be lyrics. Yeah, maybe there are the lyrics that Kanye ma- said. I'm not sure where. Wait. Um, I don't really know like where that. No, no, no. There's more to it. Working as a producer also sampled Bowie's chart-topping fame on a Jay-Z single takeover, providing another hint that he was somehow meant to take over from Bowie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, like, look, I'm all for conspiracies, but that is just like so – that could be – that's a word. That's takeover. How many times have you used takeover in something? I'm into this. I believe it. Okay. Is there more to it or is that it? I think that's kind of it. Like, And then he's, West has given tribute. Um, that seals the deal. Kanye West did a tribute for Bowie. Yeah. He's, well, yeah, now he is, is Bowie. He's his successor this and he's going to save us from – I don't know what, but apparently he's going to save us from something. Mm. A mm. grizzly ant. Maybe the, like a grizzly bear is going to come around or something. He makes a lot of grizzly bear sounds in his songs. Yeah. Like he's always. This is the annoying thing about conspiracies is like sometimes it starts off really good. Like, oh, yeah. Like it started off really great. It like, started off like K West. West. That's pretty on an like. Album. Like, okay, but maybe that was popular initials back then. I don't know. I wasn't around. Or maybe like Kanye's mum was a huge Bowie fan and that's why. And she was like, oh, my. That's s- also very. Oh, the surname that's is also West. Very true. I should do K- like, Kanye. There's so many variables, but I feel like that didn't end that great, that conspiracy. Yeah, that kind of fizzled. Yeah. That like they were just trying to. Kind of had me. And then you could see I stopped reading because I was reading ahead. I'm going, yeah. nah, this is. This is like, crap. And that's why you 
delivered it half fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm I sorry. I'm sorry. But this next one. I was so into it. This next one is quite interesting. I remember first hearing <laughs> I remember first hearing it and then kind of going. I just huh, read it. If this is true, this is like probably Huge. the best conspiracy ever because it had to go on for so long. Yeah. Um, Say it, it is Stevie Wonder isn't in fact blind. Already believe it. You do. I'm not that impressionable, but I've believed the last conspiracy and the one before, and I believe this one. Well, okay, for this to be true, how long do, have you like have you ever pretended to like be blind? Yeah, of course. <laughs> like I, you walk around course. the house Close with my your eyes, eyes closed. Yeah. I give up in three seconds. Yeah. I'm like, no, this is hey, bad. These yeah, people are amazing <laughs> that they can do this. Yeah. But this is so annoying. He's done it. He's still alive. Yeah. Right? He's still ticking, making music. Yeah. What are some of the... Okay. So, um, the idea that Stevie Wonder can actually see to be blind is, they're saying, was a publicity stunt. Um, yep. He picked a bad one. Okay. <laughs> so, there was something that happened on stage for Paul McCartney at the White House East Room in 2010. He caught a mic stand the former Beatle knocked over. Do you know who else was there at that? Who? Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl was there. Oh my gosh, and conspiracies are linking. You know who else was there, I'm pretty Probably sure? Probably K-West. The Jonas Brothers. Oh. And you know who's worked with Paul McCartney before? All of them. Kanye West. And <laughs> I think okay. David Bowie. That's a I conspiracy. Don't know. I don't you know, know what about real, the last one. Uh, I'm I just still guessing. want answers to this conspiracy: how Rihanna, Kanye, and Paul McCartney can't write a dope song. Mm, yeah, that's that's, a conspiracy. A, that's actually let's uh, let's ditch this Stevie Wonder isn't blind because I only know that as a funny meme. What's mm. this Hendrix one, or is that just in the um, story? Well, there, there is another one that Hendrix was murdered. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, but I thought that was a bit. That's rough. for your like own these, time. Yeah, you know, I like these like these ones. If he is in fact, um. You know, if not you can see blind, then that is like pretty good because you would think you would eventually just get sick of it, or like he must be really good, especially this day and age, hiding it still. Mm, yeah, like what the heck? There's cameras everywhere. Um, and the fact that that's kind of like the only thing that they've come up with he's caught a mic stand that could have been a fluke, you know. Mm. If he caught three mic stands in a row, then I'd be like, okay. Yeah. But I think there was another one where um he dodged some like someone threw a bottle at him and he dodged it. Yeah, but their senses are amazing. <laughs> maybe <laughs> like we've got Maybe it's not Stevie Wonder is blind. Maybe the conspiracy is Stevie Wonder is could Spider-Man. be Spider-Man. Uh, like Spider-Man. <laughs> like he could be like a superhero. Stevie Wonder is Spider-Man. That could be. Well, him. because okay, because we've got um like our auntie and uncle are blind. Yes. Legally. That's not why illi- could, they're not illegally blind. That's why legally. we could say before when we were kids, we would close our eyes and yeah. pretend we were blind. Yeah. Yeah. But I've done. Disclaimer s- paradox. I, <laughs> I've done something stupid before where um, auntie Thelma would be like, Josh, have you, do you know where Uncle Louie is? And I'll be like, he's over there. And uh, I yeah, point yeah. in the direction and I've then, and then she would go to me. Thanks. And then walk in that direction that I pointed. I have actually... I Arnie Thelma's say, not blind. <laughs> I, I sometimes think they're not blind because once... You know when you shut the fridge but you you don't really like push the door enough? Yeah, it doesn't shut properly. Well, she... I, I was over at their place. I went to shut the fridge and she goes, um, you didn't shut the fridge properly. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Like not in a I nice, can see. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Arnie Thelma, oh, I don't know about you but I can see. I, I mean, shut the fridge. I, I've been like using my eyes for... Fair amount of time. I think I know <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, it turned out <laughs> that it didn't, in fact, shut properly. And I was like, how did you know that? She's like, I didn't hear it connect. So yeah. there are things that we're miss. We're just not catching on to every day because we don't, I guess. Because we're lousy, to. lazy. We can because see. We later don't we're gonna need to hear that beep, beep, beep. Oh, shit. Didn't shut the fridge. And door. then we'd be like, what's your problem, fridge? Yeah. Do you ever do that? Yell yes. at the fridge? I swear at the fridge whenever yeah. it beeps at me, even though it's totally my fault. It's really bad. No, I think if I'm pushing it shut, it should be like, I got to close now and shut properly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so bring in at home 
with this Firebird is AI conspiracy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. We were briefly interrupted to upgrade because right, 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 right. we're AI. Anyway, um, going back to our boy Pink Fame, he yep. thinks that we might be AI. Yeah. And we sometimes like to make him believe that we are. <laughs> like sometimes <laughs> when we're hanging out. I just like. <laughs> when we're hanging out, we'll just like like twitch or something when we're talking to him or we'll like stare him dead in the eye and like look sideways really quickly and he'll always just be like i'll like make buzzing noises i'll just talk Uh, sometimes i talk to him and this also ties into in our film clips especially take me out um yes and kind of linking into anywhere um is the fact that like where did we go and why were we walking around in circles and why was the where why were we like there before in mm. this elevator. Do you um, want to... There yeah, were like some what conspiracies was, around what that. What was with that? I don't know. Like we just kept appearing in an elevator. I th- my This is my theory on the elevator thing. We did that so... What do you so mean theory? We wrote the storyline. Sh- <laughs> 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 this is my theory on the elevator outside of Firebird. If I was watching it and listening to this brat chat, I would be like, okay, so my new theory on the elevator is they did that just so they could do the HQ thing. And put the buffalo in there and then, <laughs> and then the lift thing. That's probably true. We were um, foreseeing a future. This is my theory of anywhere I am is home. Okay. I talked to you about it today. Do you reckon yeah. it's solid? I think it could be a little bit solid. Okay. But I want to get back to us as an AI because I am am enjoying kind of giving that perception. Yeah. The thing I do to pink fame is like repeat, 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 repeat. I like go over words yep. sometimes. I love doing that too. Because he and he, the best thing is his reaction. Like yeah, he, he gets so literally, he like, oh, freaks out. It. He freaks out. And he gets so excited about it, and that makes me happy. So I will just keep doing it. Okay, so what's your theory around anywhere I'm his home film clip? Okay, so if you haven't seen it, go see it. Yeah. So like, it's us moving in to this house. Whatever. That's not even an important part of the story. No. My thing is the middle section. Those two strange-looking neighbors that look very much like the Firebird that you've seen in Take Me Out, mm. um, us. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think they're a cooler version of us. Got it. Which is us right now, <laughs> by the way. The cooler version of Firebird. Because there's the other Firebird that it's like, and there's like a third person in the clip with them. Yeah. And so everyone knows Firebird's a duo, two piece. There's no bass player, and but there's a third person in their video clips. What's that about? I think that Firebird is like real nice guy Firebird. That it's like, oh, you know, <laughs> nice guy Firebird. Yeah, you know, you maybe should put a third member. They don't have to be in your band right now, but it's like it could lead into yeah, getting like a third keep member. The option open. Yeah, keep I've your options open, too. and maybe they could be a bass player. And we were just that Firebird, so nice, They're like. Oh, yeah, you know what? We're open to ideas. We're open-minded people. (laughs) We're open to all ideas and no idea is a bad idea. Let's do it. Let's just make it like a thing. Like, And it could evolve to it. It could not. Whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Anywhere I am is home. This other firebird come along and they're like, no. So (laughs) they... The cooler firebird. The cooler firebird. This is the badass firebird that you see standing on drum kits, Breaking I, guitars. Maybe. Yeah, I could, this see, is the that. Hardcore. I could see that Firebird yeah. doing that. Yeah. And so that Firebird. They did kidnap the other They kidnapped firebird. the old Firebird. Got it. The nice pushovers. Let's call them the pushovers. Yeah, the pushover one. Uh, they still dress kind of cool. They dress really cool. Yeah. They dress a lot cooler. Like the I other Firebird Guernsey, dressed cool. I won't lie. The other Firebird did dress really cool, but the new Firebird the dressed coats. cool. Yeah. yeah, the raincoats is just the shit. Um, so... The, that fiber they kidnap us, and then what happens to the third member who is different in the second video? He died. Clip, gets killed. He's a skull now. Yeah, but he still looks cool with his bandana. I think killing that firebird and the third person oh, is yes. just killing the idea that killing the idea we'll get a bass player, and you now reckon, we're more ruthless because they've you killed. That firebird will go to all that trouble. Yeah. Hey, they wear raincoats. And it's not even raining. You tell me. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, maybe we are AI and we don't even know it. Well, there you have it. What did you think of this episode? Are there any conspiracies that we didn't cover? Next week, we talk about our songwriting process. 
We'll see you there. Peace, love, and be ready. See you, there. you won't see us because it's uh, it's just you know who you will see ahead of time. Frank Walker from <laughs> National Tiles, bro. <laughs>